Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Baser. My guest on the set is Dr. William Hale. He's Chief of Gastroenterology here at Norwalk Hospital. Good friend. He is the expert, and our Ask the Expert question is, what is the difference between an endoscopy and a colonoscopy? Um, and no joking. No joking. <laughs> upper endo uh, upper endoscopy, endoscopy, upper endoscopy goes through the mouth and involves examination of the esophagus, stomach, first part of the small intestine. Uh, colonoscopy goes through the other end and involves the examination of uh, the colon for polyps and, pre and screening for colon cancer. We often do the test at the same time. If someone has, say, chronic heartburn and is having a screening colonoscopy, we We'll save them a trip to the hospital and save them a second anesthesia, and we'll do a colonoscopy and follow that with an upper endoscopy while you're still asleep. Uh, we promise, we promise to use a different scope. <laughs> and Bill, why can't you just go all the way through? <laughs> Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> well, you can. I say one of my partners can. She can start at the top and go pretty much all the way through the small ball, 22 feet, into the colon. Um, but that's about the limit so far. That's a lot of scope. It's a lot of scope time. I can't imagine a 22-foot scope. It, it's a scope. How long is this small ball scope? Small ball scope's about eight feet long. Oh, so but you, you telescope. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. That Welcome. is all the time we have for today. I want to thank my guest, Dr. William Hale, for joining me on Health Talk today, and thank you for watching. Remember, please share your questions and comments by emailing us at healthtalk at newvancehealth.org. We love to hear from our viewers. Take care and be well. I'll see you next time on Health Talk.